We're Malin and Johan, a Swedish couple that have been sailing full-time since 2016. After three and a half years of sailing, we welcomed our daughter Vera on board. Our latest adventure is to build our dream boat. A 50-foot sailboat that we're building ourselves on our farm. Welcome aboard and please subscribe for weekly episodes. Welcome to our open house. We've been cleaning for two days to make it look so pretty here in the barn and on our farm to welcome our patrons to this open house that we're having today. So in like one hour, we're expecting 50 to 60 people to come here and visit us. And it's so amazing because it's not only people who live in this area. There are people coming from the US, Australia, Portugal, Germany, uh, Denmark, Norway, Poland, so many countries. So it's kind of mind blowing uh, that, are, that there are so many people who want to visit us. So we're super happy and excited. And I think we'll have an amazing day. So people will be able to look at the boat. We printed some pictures of the design that are actually brand new. We got them yesterday from uh, our naval architect Ulf. And he's also coming today, which is super fun. Uh, we will also have uh, Martin here, our virtual reality friend. So he will be here with his gear. So all of the guests will be able to see Ron 3 from the inside and be able to walk through the boat with the VR goggles. We have our moms here who are helping us with the kitchen service. And there will be a lot of kids, so Vera can play with the kids. And we have sunshine, uh, hoping that it's not going to rain today. Yeah, it looks amazing in here now. <laughs> a lot cleaner than it's normal is. Um, I have moved a lot of the timber that we used to have here on the floor so now it's a bit easier to walk around in here and uh, yeah this is what we have left of the cedar this small pile here. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys all of this before I think so but this is our pile of uh, mahogany some of it, we actually have more of it in one of the, in the horse stable. And over here we have uh, the teak and some mahogany down here as well. And some um, more teak and some other stuff down there. I'm not really sure what it is though, but. And then we have some mixed timber. I think it's some ash and something else. <laughs> not really sure. And then, uh, this is our firewood storage and then in here we have uh, some veneers and more mahogany, some more teak and some other stuff. So a lot of timber. Uh, yeah, and this is the a really nice teak slab that uh, we need to do something with. It's just a beautiful piece of wood. Um, yeah, like Molly said, right now we have sunshine. Hope it doesn't change. It's been a pretty squally weather for the past few days, so you never know.
was so much fun uh, the other day at the open house. Uh, it went really well and we're so overwhelmed by all the people who came and that some people had traveled really, really far. Uh, today our focus is to cut up and glue together the last strips that we have. And since the bow section is fully planked, uh, that means that from here on every piece we put on the hull will be shorter than the piece before that. Uh, and to prevent a lot of waste, we're taking some measurements now so we don't glue up, so we don't make the strips too long, because then we need to cut off the end and that will result in too much waste. Going. Good. I uh, have to be quick now here before it cures. Uh, I'm on the number eight of the uh, finished strip, strips. Uh, it's about one third of all the cedar strips that we have left. And we think that we can make 24 full length strips of the cedar that we have. and we're calling it a day. We have plenty more uh, strips to glue together. I made 11 today and there will be 11 strips out of these as well. So that's what I'm gonna glue up tomorrow and uh, Yuan he will start to uh, plane and rip these last couple of um, cedar planks that we have. Um, I'm not sure why we have why these aren't ripped as the other ones but um, we'll see how many strips we can get out of these. Trying to get as much as possible so there isn't that much uh, that we're missing. But now it's getting dark. It's getting dark so much faster now. Getting closer to winter already. <laughs> oh, but it was a good day. A good work day. So this is yesterday's yield of uh, door stoppers. <laughs> we have a lot of these now. So this is our collection of uh, sawdust and cutter chips from cedar, oak and uh, some other species as well. It's beginning to be uh, quite a lot and we still haven't really decided what we're going to do with it. Uh, we thought maybe we could um, leave it somewhere and get it compressed so we can use it as uh, firewood 
or maybe we can use some of it in the garden. Um, talk to a friend who has horses, but uh, I'm guessing that the cedar is not very good for, for the horses in the stable. Um, so, for now we're just collecting it here. <laughs> I've switched sides. Uh, Yuan is going to use the rip saw and the planer today, so I will be here. So these are the odd pieces we have left of the cedar. Now we'll try to rip and plane them today to make strip from from them that we can use in the hull. Uh, probably I have to make them a bit more narrow than the other strips we have, but that's okay as long as the thickness is the same. I took some measurements on the top of the hull yesterday uh, where the keel plate will sit and that's a pretty big big area uh, around two and a half square meters. So that will save us some cedar as well because we have decided that we won't have any cedar where the keel sits, it will be solid glass where the keel bolts go through. So that means that we are missing somewhere around 9 square meters of cedar. So it feels really good that we got them this far with the cedar from uh, that barn find <laughs> and that we're not missing that much. And besides from the door stoppers and the sawdust, there really hasn't been much waste of the cedar. The quality has been really good. Uh, almost no knots at all and uh, yeah, very good quality overall. Well that's it, we have now ripped and plain all the cedar that we had. And this is the stuff that I prepared today. As you can see these strips are a lot more, are a bit more narrow than the other ones. Uh, but it's still okay and uh, I have calculated now that all the strips that we have prepared will be enough to close off the stern of the hull as well, which feels really good. Uh, Molin is still gluing up strips, the ones that we have prepared here on the table. And I'm thinking she will um, finish, finish with these today. And in the meantime, I will start working on the bow cone. Because this morning I got the cutting files from Ulf for the bow cone, which will be sliced in six different layers. And I have decided to use the same material as we have in the stem, which is oak. So I will start ripping and planing these oak planks so we can glue them up today and start use, using the shaper, the CNC, to cut, uh, cut the shape tomorrow uh, from the cutting files. It will be really interesting to see how it will look once it's on the boat with that bow cone, the real bow. You want to apply the epoxy on each piece and then clamp them together. Ooh, 
This is another thing with using epoxy as glue. You can really take your time. There's no rush when you're doing a glue up like this, like when you're using ordinary wood glue. The pieces will now cure overnight and then they will be cut to its shape the day after. The pieces had cured and I had finished the last 11 strips. We got in total 26 strips out of the last cedar. So we're missing just over 10%. Uh, and today uh, you are will continue on the balcony and I will spend most of the time inside editing uh, this video. So I have three of these now that are ready to go through the planer. I will take them down to 20 millimeters. Uh, and in total, uh, there are six of these slabs and I have one cutting file per each, uh, representing the shape of the bow cone in that exact position. Uh, so once I have cut them and stacked them together, that should give me the, a rough form of the, how the bow cone should look. Uh, of course, there will be some hand shaping of the balcone as well, uh, but um, with the, these cutting files, I will come pretty close. Johan prepares to use the CNC shaper router to cut out the exact shape of each section. So number one of the six pieces that will be the future bow cone is cut and uh, I've just dry fitted it now to see that it fits and it does and the cutting file that I made this from represents the face of the stem here but with the add-on of the thickness of the strips at this angle. So as you can see it lines up perfectly. Um, and I also added these uh, pilot holes for the plugs. Um, so when I put all the six pieces together with these plugs connected to the next piece, I will know that they will all line up perfectly the way they should. Yeah, since the cutting file is like a 2D plane, I will have to remove the corners of every piece uh, along with the face of the boat. You can see here. So it's just the backside, that's the plane that represents the shape that I want. Uh, the rest here on this edge is excess wood that I will remove with the planer later on once I have all the pieces stacked on each other. 
Yuan cuts out all six sections and then wipes them off before he glues them together. Stay tuned for the next episode where we finish the bow cone. Thank you so much for watching and a big thanks to our patrons for supporting these videos.